What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Purple and Gold podcast. And today, we are continuing the series of random mock drafts for random NFL teams. So, today, we are going to be doing our third mock draft. And, um, yeah, let's get into this wheel spin. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been watching the videos and are not subscribed, then subscribe. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. The Seattle Seahawks. Now, okay, I am saying ill because I don't like the Seahawks. And, um, yeah, there go the Seattle Seahawks fans. They're clicking off the video already. And also because I think they have the least amount of draft picks in this year's draft. I'm I'm actually going to take a look at that right now. Um, I know it's somewhere around here. <sighs> I'm looking on Instagram right now for the... Is it on here? No, I, th- I think they have, like, picks 2, 4, and 6 or something like that. Maybe I should just Google it. Uh, Seahawks. Oh, my God, I can't spell. 2021 draft picks. Uh, okay, wait, let's take a look at this. Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me. They have picks 2, Four and seven. So I guess we're going to go all the way to the seventh round because these last few ones, I've been going up to the third round. So I guess, oh my God, this is sad. Okay. It's going to be an interesting one though. Um, So we're going to go and take a look at the Seattle Seahawks roster. I know it's gotten a lot worse uh, from this last season, but you know, Russell Wilson still there after all of that mess that was going on and rumors that he was going to go to Chicago. Um, thankfully he didn't. And then Chris Carson, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett could use a third wide receiver. Um, that's Freddie Swain ain't it. And, uh, Gerald Everett was a pretty solid pickup. They got a good tight end group. And then after that, you look at the offensive line. Golly. So I think Dwayne Brown, Ethan Pochich and Gabe Jackson, you can work with Phil Haynes and Brandon Shell though. Might look to replace those guys in the second round, if possible. And then you have Carlos Dunlap back. You got Puna Ford, Al Woods. That's a pretty solid defensive line. Um, But you could definitely use another edge rusher to get some sort of pressure. And, oh my goodness, who's that over there? LJ Collier. What a bust. Oh my goodness. And then you have Jordan Brooks, Bobby Wagner, Ben Burkhurvin. Could definitely work with that. And then we could definitely use some secondary help. Akella Witherspoon should not be your first or second corner. I don't even know who it is. I mean, you have Witherspoon, Flowers, uh, Amadi, and then Reed Jr. Uh, Your safeties look pretty good, though. Adams and Diggs can both lay a hit on some guys. But, um, yeah, there are quite a bit of needs remaining on this team and not a lot of draft picks to to work with. So this should be interesting. I'm going to go all the way to round seven. We're going to be sitting here a lot just – watching simulation so i'm gonna go on fast okay and what sucks is that you have picks two four and seven there's not much you can really do to maneuver what you could see the seahawks do in this draft is possibly trade back from that second round pick and accumulate more picks to try and get more players but at that point are you really getting quality players i don't know they might just stick there and just take their second round pick um wow I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but the top, like right below here, is taking a... Oh, there it is. It caught up. And now we are here at number 56. Wow. It could not keep up. Okay. Oh, wow. Javante Williams is still here. I really like Javante Williams. Okay, so we made it clear that we do need an interior offensive lineman, right? So there's the list here. Um, We also do need another edge rusher. Ooh, Ronnie Perkins and Joseph Osai are still here, so intriguing options there. Offensive tackle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Jalen Mayfield is still here. I thought he would be off the board by now. Um, okay. Let let let's keep looking. The cornerbacks here. Aaron Robinson from UCF, pretty solid. Elijah Molden also is a pretty good prospect. Uh Sean Wade fell off, so I don't know how I feel about him. Uh, Paulson Adebo, probably one of the most underrated players in this class. 
So we could snag him maybe. Oh no, wait. We don't have a third round pick. I I, I forgot. Okay. Um Wow. I mean if Jalen Mayfield is here, see, uh oh, there there's the whole thing about Russ wanting to be protected more, you know? He wants to not I, I, I don't know what the whole deal is. I mean I don't think it's completely the offensive line's fault. I think a lot of times Russell Wilson does have time in the pocket. He sits there, he waits, he looks at his progressions. So new offensive coordinator, I mean, that's that's great, I guess. Maybe that'll change some of the plays that are ran. And um, yeah, if he wants better offensive line, right, and you have a guy like Mayfield here who's sitting here in the second round and you're at pick 56 and he's still sitting there, I would probably try to satisfy Russell Wilson because he's still one of the top quarterbacks in the league. So... I'm going to make my quarterback happy. Let's get Jalen Mayfield from Michigan uh, to replace Brandon Shell because he should not be our starting tackle alongside with Dwayne Brown. Okay, so now we wait a whole long and uh, it's going to be fourth round. I don't even know what I'm saying. A whole long? What does that even mean? I don't know. Okay, so again, the draft network is unable to keep up with how fast these picks are being simulated. And I still don't see the Seahawks anywhere. We're in round four, so we're approaching our pick soon. Where are we? Oh, good grief. All right. Pick 129. And we are so deep into the draft that I would be lying to you if I told you I knew a lot about these players. So let's just try and fill some needs, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Okay, so we still do need an edge rusher. Top guys left are edge rushers, so let's consider taking one of them. Uh, cornerback is still in need. I don't see any names that I really recognize here in the interior offensive line. Oh, David Moore. <laughs> That's pretty funny. If he was still on the team, he'd have two David Moores. I would have just drafted him for the heck of it, but let's not make this team even worse. Okay. So we look at the entire big board and it looks like it's calling us the edge rusher group. We have Hamakar Rashad Jr., Deo Odeenbo, and Patrick Jones the second. Now, let's just take the Draft Network's word for it. We're gonna go with Rashad Jr. from Oregon State here, and hopefully. He can be the next edge rusher here for Seattle. I don't know. It's a potential pick here in the fourth round. But, um, yeah, if you guys notice any of these names, educate me in the comment section below. This is a tough mock draft, but I'm glad that we got Jalen Mayfield because you protect Russell Wilson, and I think that was one of the main priorities that the Seahawks haven't addressed yet. So, Trey McKitty goes to... The Chiefs, that's a name that I recognize because how can you not? Um, all right, we wait. We wait. We're still in the sixth round. My God, I saw Jamar Jefferson. I thought it was Justin Jefferson all over again. And we wait. And we wait. Look, we're still in the sixth round. Damn it. I feel bad for the, uh, the scouts of the Seahawks because they must have done so much scouting. All for picks in the second, the fourth, and the seventh round. That's kind of sad. You have to do hundreds and hundreds of evaluations just for three players, man. Okay, here we go. We're in the seventh round. But let's just go through this and see if we see any names anywhere. So, scrolling down. Have I seen DJ Daniel before? Possibly. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good. Okay, well, we look here and it's just wide receivers and corners. And, you know, we need both, right? Uh, do we go with Smith here? It looks like he's the best player on the board. And hopefully he can be our wide receiver three. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's not waste too much time here. We're going to have Amir smith Marset. From Iowa, be our pick here, and oh my goodness, other than Jalen Mayfield, 
there's not much that the Seattle Seahawks are going to be able to do this draft. But if they can knock all three of these picks out of the park, which is possible, but highly unlikely, uh, knowing how Seattle drafts, um, this is not going to look like a very good class and not one to remember. But, um, yeah. Yikes, that's all I have to say. But, um, yeah, if you like what you see, and I don't, but you should still subscribe anyway. And, um, yes, go follow the Instagram page at vikings.tgp. Um, it is a Vikings page, but we also post a lot of things about the NFL, posting a lot of draft stuff right now. So, yeah, if you're interested in all of that, go check out the page. And, um, yeah, like I said, subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys all later.